which muscle is responsible for flexing the forearm your options are deltoid biceps brachii triceps brachii or rectus abdominis the correct answer is b that is biceps brachii the biceps brachii muscle is located in the upper arm and is primarily responsible for flexing the forearm at the elbow joint question number 2 which muscle is known as the calf muscle your options are quadriceps femoris gastrocnemius rectus femoris or soleus the correct answer is b that is gastrocnemius the gastrocnemius muscle is located in the calf and responsible for plantar flexion of the foot question number 3 which muscle is responsible for extension of the knee your options are biceps femoris tibialis anterior gluteus maximum or rectus femoris the correct answer is a that is biceps femoris the bicep femoris muscle is one of the hamstring muscles and is involved in extending the knee joint question number 4 which muscle helps in the movement of the shoulder joint and is commonly known as the shoulder blade your options are trapezius pectoralis major deltoid or latissimus dorsi the correct answer is a that is trapezius the trapezius muscle helps in moving and stabilizing the shoulder joint and its shape resembles a trapezoid question number 5 dear friends you are attending 100 most important and most repeated mcqs on human muscle system these questions were repeated many times in many previous medical and nursing exams and i'm sure that you are very eager to learn and check your level of knowledge in human muscle system so watch this video till end to add more information to your preparation and friends if the video is helpful then please do like and subscribe and share this video to every friend who are preparing for medical and nursing exams let's continue which muscle is involved in abduction of the arm your options are pectoralis major latissimus dorsi deltoid or rhomboid major the correct answer is c that is deltoid the deltoid muscle is responsible for the abduction of the arm lifting it away from the body question number 6 which muscle assists in the breathing by contracting and expanding the chest cavity your options are diaphragm external oblique internal intercostals or rectus abdominis the correct answer is a that is diaphragm the diaphragm is the primary muscle involved in breathing contracting and relaxing to expand and contract the chest cavity question number 7 which muscle is responsible for the movement of the tongue your options are masseter sternocleidomastoid temporalis or genioglossus the correct answer is d that is genioglossus The genioglossus muscle is located in the tongue and helps in protruding and retracting it. Question number 8. Which muscle is responsible for closing the jaw during chewing? Your options are temporalis, orbicularis oris, masseter or buccinator. The correct answer is C that is masseter. The masseter muscle is one of the primary muscles of mastication and is responsible for closing the jaw during chewing. Question number 
which muscle is responsible for rotating the forearm so that the palm faces upward supination your options are pronator teres brachialis supinator or extensor digitorum the correct answer is c that is supinator the supinator muscles is located in the forearm and assists in supinating the forearm turning the palm upwards question number 10 which muscle is responsible for moving the eye laterally outward your options are medial rectus lateral rectus superior oblique or inferior oblique the correct answer is b that is lateral rectus the lateral rectus muscle is responsible for abducting the eye moving it laterally away from the nose question number 11 which muscle is responsible for bending the trunk forward flexion of the spine your options are erectus spinae rectus abdominis external oblique or internal oblique and the correct answer is b that is rectus abdominis the rectus abdominis muscle is located in the abdomen and is commonly referred to as the abs it flexes the spine forward question number 12 which muscle is responsible for extending the wrist joint the options are flexor capi annulus extensor carpi radialis longus palmaris longus or flexor digitorum superficialis the correct answer is b that is extensor carpi radialis longus The extensor carpi radialis longus muscles extends the wrist joint allowing for movements like wrist extension. Question number 13 Which muscle is responsible for raising the eyebrows and wrinkling the forehead? Your options are frontalis, orbicularis oculi, temporalis or zygomaticus. the correct answer is a that is frontalis the frontalis muscle located in the forehead and is responsible for raising the eyebrows and creating horizontal wrinkles on the forehead question number 14 which muscle is responsible for adducting the thigh bringing it towards the midline your options are gluteus maximus tensor fasciculate adductor magnus or sartorius and the correct answer is c that is adductor magnus the adductor magnus muscle is located in the thigh and is responsible for adducting the thigh towards the middle line of the body question number 15 which muscle is responsible for extending the hip joint your options are psoas major gluteus maximus rectus femoris or or hamstrings and the correct answer is b that is gluteus maximus the gluteus maximus is the largest muscle in the body and responsible for extending the hip joint as well as laterally rotating the thigh question number 16 which muscle is responsible for pronating the forearm your options are brachioradialis pronator teres flexor capi radialis or extensor carpi annularis the correct answer is b that is pronator teres the pronator teres muscle is located in the forearm and is responsible for pronating the forearm turning the palm downward question number 17 which muscle is responsible for compressing the cheeks example during blowing your options are masseter temporalis buccinator or orbicularis oris the correct answer is c that is buccinator
buccinator. The buccinator muscle is located in the cheek and responsible for compressing the cheeks against the teeth, aiding in activities like blowing and sucking. Question number 18. Which muscle is responsible for moving the mandible side to side? Your options are temporalis, medial petrigoid or masseter. The correct answer is C that is lateral goid. Muscle is involved in moving the mandible side to side, enabling actions like chewing or speaking. Question number 19. Which muscle is responsible for flexing the thigh at the hip joint and extending the leg at the knee joint? Your options are hamstrings, quadriceps femoris, gastrocnemius, or soleus. The correct answer is B that is quadriceps femoris. The quadriceps femoris muscle is group of four muscles located in the anterior thigh and is responsible for both flexing the thigh at the hip joint and extending the leg at the knee joint. Question number 20. Which muscle is responsible for raising the upper arm sideways? Abduction. Your options are supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor or subscapularis. And the correct answer is A that is supraspinatus. The supraspinatus muscle initiates abduction of the shoulder joint by raising the upper arm sideways. Question number 21. Which muscle is responsible for flexing the thigh at the hip joint and rotating it laterally? Your options are gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, minimus or piriformis. The correct answer is D that is piriformis. Muscle is located in the buttocks and responsible for flexing the thigh at the hip joint and rotating it laterally. Question number 22. Which muscle is responsible for flexing the toes and plantar flexion of the foot? Your options are tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum longus, gastrocanomius or flexor hallucis longus. And the correct answer is C that is gastrocanomius. Gastrocanomius. The gastrocnemius muscle is located in the calf and responsible for flexing the toes and plantar flexion of the foot. Question number 23. Which muscle is responsible for flexing the fingers and wrist? Your options are flexor carpi realis, flexor carpi ulnaris, flexor digitorum superficialis or flexor digitorum profundus. And the correct answer is C that is flexor digitorum superficialis. The flexor digitorum superficialis muscles flexes the fingers and wrist. Question number 24. Which muscle is responsible for closing the mouth and puckering the lips? Your options are orbicularis oris, masseter, temporalis or zygomaticus. The correct answer is a that is orbicularis, orbicularis oris. The orbicularis oris muscles encircles the mouth and responsible for closing the mouth and puckering the lips. Question number 25. Which muscle is responsible for internally rotating the shoulder joint? Your options are infraspinatus, teres minor, subscapularis or supraspinatus. The correct answer is C that is subscapularis. The subscapularis muscle is located on the anterior surface of the scapula and is responsible for internally rotating the shoulder joint. Friends, it is a time to comment your score out of 25 questions. And friends, thanks for joining us on this exciting journey. If you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new, then give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field.
Until the next time, stay curious, stay healthy. See you. Take care.